going to Heidi Klotzman's birthday party. Um, should be fun. <laughs> Wednesday morning about 5.30, sitting on the edge of my bed doing my quiet time. Got my coffee, looking out the window. I was just kind of reflecting and thinking and, um, you know, I was thinking about a, a, a YouTube talk I saw by Steve Jobs not long ago where he talked about entrepreneurship and uh, how hard it was and that basically you need to do something that you're passionate about because if you don't, you'll quit because it's so freaking hard. And uh, he's he's right, like, you know, like, oftentimes I'll go to bed discouraged and depressed because I give everything I can. I usually, I, I usually do about a 12 hour work day. I'll give everything I can and I'm just so spent at the end of the day um, that I just don't have anything left and I'll, a lot of times go to bed depressed and discouraged because I'm not moving the thing as fast as I want. You know, I'm, I'm really impatient. So, and what I'm trying to do is so big and my skills, I feel like sometimes are so limited and my finances are so limited that it's hard to move it at the speed that I want. Um, so I'll go to bed, I'll go to bed a lot of times, um, not feeling great, but then I'll wake up you know, six or seven hours later, and I'm just ready to go at it again. And I guess over time, that makes you stronger. I can see how that would. Um, it's not easy. Uh, but, you know, I'm doing it, and I'm probably making more headway than I see. Um, although it feels like it's small, small changes every day. Um, when I look back, I see that we have moved the needle a lot over time, so... Um, I'm really hoping that it's like a flywheel and that, um, you know, it gets to the point one day where it starts spinning faster because it's, it's definitely been a lot of work up until this point getting it moving. So Wednesday morning on my way to the office, um, big day today. I got, uh, Jeannie and Melanie and Ariana all working in the office today. So that's a first, uh, we have lots of meetings at night. But this is this will be the first day that we've had everyone there working during the day, so I'm kind of excited. It's progress. Um, a lot of big events coming up. Dare Theory, uh, you know, three different cities. So there's lots of uh, lots of moving parts to that that we'll be working on. Um, honestly, last night I got home from work and I was super discouraged. Uh, it was probably the first time that I felt like overwhelmed really really overwhelmed and I thought to myself that there's no way that we're gonna be able to do all this what's overwhelming and concerns me is the fact that we're doing three dare theories in a row Baltimore DC Philly and then three dare to do goods in a row and they've never done them either they they you know have the formula kind of down and we have the concept but um, you know and then we want to do renegades in DC Philly with service events right after them while Baltimore's still going on. So it's just, uh, it's a lot, but, um, we're dreaming big. Yes. Sometimes you know how like if things go too far in between the momentum, you lose the momentum. And that's exactly the only reason that I'm pushing for it is because there's going to be so much momentum with their theory right. and then dare to do good the following. I mean, cause literally we're going to be on Groupon, Yelp, CBS <laughs> Radio, right? Mentioning City Fam. Right. All those events can feed into service projects right. and then a renegade right after. Exactly. Right? Yeah. But it's a ton of freaking just organization and uh, logistics, you know? Right. So it's right. last night I was sitting on the couch and I was like, there's no effing way. There's no way we're going to be able to do it. But I feel good again. I mean, how cool would it be like if you fly into a city you're like, we gotta find out where the renegade is. And yeah, that's true. You know that there's gonna be a bunch of like-minded people that you've never met before. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I agree on that. I see two little 12 year olds right on the corner, grab the camera from front. And I ain't trying to help out, I'm just trying to get some footage that you know when I'm done. I see some grown folks fighting over burgers and the Mickey D's do got a gun. Alright, so what do you want to work on today? Um, I guess just getting the game plan together. This sort of lifestyle motion, 
but just the, the movement of what you guys are doing mm -hmm. to, to sort of change the game. The climb. When I get an opportunity to get you a booking, I book you because I know that we're going to take that money and put it back into the business. You know what I mean? Which I, that's that incentivizes me to like look for opportunities and pull favors. Right. You know what I mean? Because I think I could get you shows. I just have to. The opportunity has to be right. You know, like because there's really no, like you said, there's no scene out there. So we're gonna have to kind of be a little creative. Yeah, the regular music scene doesn't do either. Right. So e even if there is a, a scene there for you know the regular music scene, that in Baltimore you can see they're not doing it anyway. Right. I tried to tell the cast that three years ago, like just content, content. This is a new, this is a new world. This is a new. The world is different now. It ain't the same as it was yeah. back then. Yeah. Crank them out till we find the one that hits. It's like being that guy in a bar. And you ask ten girls for their numbers. <laughs> Eventually, one of them's gonna say yes. Right? Relate everything back to the bar. <laughs> I can relate everything to the nightclub. Going to Heidi Klatsen's birthday party. Um, should be fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, here we go. Man, I started this movement back in 07 Just a little go get I had a big vision And it won't let up just to do God music better than medic for youth Medicine heaven for truth Rely on relevant few, get it? Uh, try secular then I dead it, it Had to face my own negligence Living in the hurt and then moving my residence That's how it started Sean Riff the president Show God for evidence New kingdom registrants Happy birthday, Heidi We need to get people in small groups And teach them how to like care for each other You know what I mean? Because like Another girl reached out to me yesterday and she lives in Pasadena. I'm like, really can't do nothing for you. Because honestly, it's, it's going to be a revolving door until we do that.